Hello and welcome to a Dragon Pin <laughs> What was that? Welcome to one of my tutorials again. Basically, I'd just like to start by saying I have a JPEG here. Well done job dot JPEG, which I done in Photoshop. Let me dig out the original one. So well done dot PSD here. Um so what I've done is in Photoshop I've gone and I've made this file. Well done. Um, which I made for someone very special. So basically, here's my layers here, layer, 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 and I can put them on and off, etc. Um, and voila. So, but what I've done is I've went file save as and I've saved it as a JPEG, and here's my JPEG on the desktop, right? Which is great. But what's the point in this tutorial? You may ask. This is the point. I go to my JPEG and I double click it, and what happens? It opens in Photoshop. Now, if I don't have Photoshop already loaded, it can take quite a while for it to load and I hate loading big ass programs if you're not going to use them so the point in today's tutorial is to don't save um, change this to stop it from opening in Photoshop because I hate when programs load and you don't want them load anyway so this is what you do easy peasy lemon squeezy click it um, sorry right click it or control click if you're on a single button mouse like I am and press get information um, you could also, uh, what else? For example, you wanted to open it in Photoshop all the time, but you might want to um, open it in the previewer. You might just want to right click and then go down to open with, second from the top, blah, and you've got all these programs that it can open with, and you click the previewer. But that's not going to change the default um, application of which it opens with. You right? Do you get me? If not, then you might have to rewind because I can't be bothered to repeat myself. Anyway, so you need to get the information or the properties if you're still in PC term terminology and you get this window here. So to open it in a certain default program such as Adobe Photoshop, you'll see it's already highlighted there. Um, you just simply go down to open with in the get information bit. Um, clicky and choose your program. So I'm going to go down to the previewer and that's it remember you don't have to click OK or apply on a Mac it just automatically happens and hopefully as I double click you shall open in the previewer rather than Photoshop so this why it will come in handy for when I quit Photoshop and I want to go oh I want to see the whole preview of this double click oh it didn't load Photoshop it didn't take 20 hours to load um, yeah, so if you want to open a certain program in, uh, not a certain program, certain document in a certain program, you can right click, open with, and select. But remember, this will only do it for the once. So I can choose Firefox, for example. And for this one time only, I can open it in Firefox. Um, but changing the default one, Apple I for information, um, and then go down, open with, blah, blah, blah. There we go. I hope you learned something and I hope I didn't baffle you. Um, I do apologize for this tutorial being a bit sketchy. Um, I've noticed myself that I wasn't very linear. I did jump about a bit, but anyway, hopefully you've learned something and I haven't patronized you, etc, etc, etc. Um, I hope you have a good day and have fun playing on your Mac. And if you don't have one, um, you should be jealous. <laughs> Sorry. Well, well, some people might prefer PCs. It's just my personal opinion. And hopefully, if you're looking to buy a Mac or whatever, um, and you don't like the operating system that I'm showing you, uh, I've saved you some money, do you know what I mean? Or vice versa, if you're thinking about uh, looking for a Mac and I've proved your theories right or whatever, um, yeah. So, if you are actually getting a Mac and you want information, please leave a comment or something. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Dragon PME Tutorials or something like that.